so yes, I can finally tell you and announce that I am bringing out my own range of lifting straps, which I am so excited um, for. I've been working on them for the past year now, so it has taken quite a while. I think I had like um, four different samples come back to me, but I just wasn't happy and I really wanted to make sure they were literally spot on. And I've been using these exact ones here for the last three months. Um, just to make sure they are up to standard and they are i'm really really happy with them so the reason why i wanted to um, create wrist straps is because when i first started training i always found it really hard to connect with my back muscle because i found that i was always pulling through my arms rather than pulling with my back and i tried a few wrist straps that i just did not get on with some that you may have seen before which look like this standard ones um, which some people do get on with but I personally did not get on with them um, first of all I just used to get really confused with what way they went so I used to take like a minute to try and figure that out and then once I'd got them on if I hadn't given up already I just found them really uncomfortable like these like on the wrist bit here they would dig in so much because there's no padding on them it's literally just a strap so in the end I just thought all right I need to do something because I need straps, I know that if I have straps, I will be able to like um, connect better with my back. So that is the reason why I was like, right, I'm gonna make my own. So for the past year, I have been working on these little bad boys and I'm super, super happy with how they've come out. So I've actually been using these exact ones for the past three months, but I've also been using my other samples that I've got pretty much through the whole year. Um, and what I found is that as soon as I feel I've got like a better grip around the bar or like whatever I'm doing, especially for back for me, was that I was able to pull with my back and connect with my back. And it's incredible to see actually how much my back improved just from wearing straps. So I'm not pulling through my arms anymore. So they're a massive, massive help once you have them on, you don't focus on your grip, you don't focus on if your hands are sweaty and the bar is gonna fall out of your hand. You're not focusing on any of that because the straps are like, I've done this bit here so long that it wraps, wraps, wraps around the bar and you can really pull it in tight. So you literally can just hang on to the bar and not even have to think about it. A lot of my clients do struggle with that. I know they struggle with, they're always pulling with their biceps. So because that was something that I used to struggle with, I know exactly how you guys are feeling. Um, also, I think sometimes where you grip the bar so hard because you're really trying to hold on, it can sometimes really pump up the forearm um, and actually really hurt the wrist as well where you're gripping so tight. And then 20 minutes into your back session, it's like, oh my God, I feel like I'm dead, but you're not. It's just because you're holding on so tight and it's just taking it out of you. So a few exercises that you can use the lifting straps for um, are deadlifts, sumo deadlifts, you've got like bent over rows, cable row, you can even use them for pull ups for hanging leg raises, um, lunges, lunges is actually a really good one because I don't know why but I find that if I want to go heavy with dumbbells I don't know why, but I just don't have very good grip with heavy dumbbells. And especially if you get like um, sweaty kind of hands, if you get hot, I feel like I just can't grip on, especially if you're doing walking lunges, which is something that I do do a lot. So as soon as you put straps on, it just takes all that away and you don't even have to focus on the grip, which is just like a godsend. So they are just a few of the exercises that you can use them for. There are so many more. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I am going to be wearing them in my Instagram videos just to show you how versatile they are and what kind of exercises you probably wouldn't think of that you could use them for that really, really help. So I'll just take you through exactly what they look like and how they go on. So first of all, I have made them into a cuff shape and all around is thick foam because I wanted to make sure that when you're pulling weight, I wanted to make sure that they sat comfortably and you, you don't get anything digging in, which you don't. I've made the strap here super, super long, just so then once you've wrapped it around the bar like a good couple of times, it feels really, really secure. I've put these little, these little dots here are actually, they're actually rubber dots. Um, so 
once it wraps around you're holding this bit the grip is unreal so undone they look like this um so the way that i i put them on is i put it through this little loop here if you can see that yeah put it through there so then it just doesn't make it fiddly put your wrist through pull it tight and it's on like it's so quick to put on both of them just so quick so if you do have small wrists you can really pull it in tight because you can see it overlaps um, once you pull it in I don't know if you can see that but it does really overlap so you can literally pull it in so tight and it has the velcro around the edge for the fastening it has my strong and sexy logo here s and s is strong and sexy and then it says by lisa fit just under here um and that matches the white dots it's just going to be this color for now this neutral color just because i i think it just goes with everything so it's quite an easy color to go with i'm not too sure about other colors just yet but i'm gonna see how these get on and then i'm gonna take it from there because this is my first product so i just kind of want to see how it does first Shipping is going to be worldwide, so wherever you are in the world, you're going to be able to order my product. So the price is going to be $15.99 Great British... I can never say that. Great British Pound. So I think I've covered everything, but if there's anything more you want to know, just pop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, just keep an eye out on my social media for the release date in the next couple of weeks. And I am super excited to share this with you all.